Hello and welcome back to another video and in today's video um, there is a fallen dead tree which has been lying on the ground here for quite a long time so you can see that those two bits there were part of this stump here uh, but one year it must have been last year maybe two years ago uh, we just got a very bad sort of storm strong winds and the tree just wasn't very strong in itself. So, obviously you could nearly root that out, which I might do now. I didn't think it was, I didn't think the roots on it was loose, but I knew that the timber inside was just rotting away. And obviously the tree fell. There's the break mark there, which was once connected to the stump here. And obviously, this bit here which is the top half of the tree was connected to this so the plan is today is to get our 135 and transport box and a chainsaw um, cut them up into manageable lengths throw them into the box bring them over to wood and just get rid of them tidy it up a small bit and uh, now that I found out recently that this is a bit loose I might be able to root it up from the ground and if I can we'll see will I be able to manhandle it into the transfer box or will I have to cut it in half into a manageable size two sections and throw it into the box so yeah we'll uh, get to that but first we need to load this dung into the box and then go over and empty the box so I have room to throw all that timber and stuff into the box so we'll get to that first we'll fill the box and then empty it which is the dung that's coming out of the pen the the new calf that was that was uh born the other day i do have a video about that the calving update 2024 part 3 video up on the channel it's probably my previous video to this one so if you want to watch that you can go back and watch it um I recommend going back and watching it because I might say some things in this video that you mightn't understand if you don't watch the video so yeah but as you can see the calf is getting on nicely and a nice coloured calf as well um, but the cow has um, quiet down a bit um, I can open up the gate now and throw grape for the silage into the barrel for her rather than throwing the silage over the top of the gate um so yeah and i i've, I've actually filled her barrel with silage uh, by opening the gate uh, just before i started recording this video so yeah but um as i'm recording <coughs> this video we let the cow and calf and that cow out there out down to the little garden down below and then it, the heavens opened and we decided to um bring them back up again but Again, she wasn't too inclined uh, to come back up to the shed. So there was another bit of work to actually get her back into the shed. But yeah, it is what it is. And um, I don't have any footage of letting the cow and calf out. But um, he wasn't, or she wasn't too bad. In fact, when we let uh, the, the three of them out, there was very little um, excitement in them. There was there was a small bit of jumping and running, but nothing too major. So we let them out into this little garden here. Nothing too hectic. There was a bit of jumping and running from the calf and cow, but not too much. Now we did we were considering lowering down this little tape here, down and down probably a, a notch, uh, so the calf kind of get under the fence. Um, so we were, me and the old man were just standing up there, what, keeping an eye on them for a few minutes. The calf did go out under the fence, but a couple of seconds later came back in. And uh, that's when we decided whether or not we should lower the, the tape down. But um, we were afraid that if the calf did eventually get out with the tape lowered, he mightn't be able to get back in. So we left it as is. And then when he came back in, 
he touched the, the tape, he got a shock, so he mightn't be too inclined to touch the tape again. So that's a little quick update with the cow and calf. Calf is doing well, cow is doing well, and this one is about three days past her due date. She was due on the 6th of August. I believe it is, it is the 9th of August now, so she either might calf at the end of this week or sometime next week. In fact, when we were letting the, the, the three of them out, we hunted her out into this pen with the three of them so they'd all go out at the same time. And when we were hunting her out, we realised that the, she was a bit loose at the back and a bit slimy. So there are signs um, that in the next couple of days she could throw out a calf. And her elder actually is building up a small bit as well. I don't think you can see it there, but her elder is building up and she's loose and slimy at the back. So we'll be expecting a calf from her um, very soon, hopefully. But anyways, enough rambling on. We have work to do. So uh, I'll set the camera up somewhere and uh, we'll get this done first. It's all cut up and I have it piled there. There was a small bit of twigs and branches that were sticking out of some of them logs um, that I just piled there to throw into the transport box as well. But as you can see, that is much way nicer. Much way nicer? Not English, but anyways. Now, I don't know what to do with this. Should I cut it with the saw deep down at the butt or will I try and manpower brute it out? Um, what I might do is I think I might try manpower and just try and brute it out and see what happens. If all else fails, chainsaw, cut it as low down to the ground as I possibly can. But, yeah. Something else is maybe this little tree there. You can see all them leaves and branches and whatnot sticking out of the tree. It's kind of overgrown a small bit. I might clip a couple of them with um, an owl hedge clipper and an owl saw blade that we can put on a, on a very long pole and extend it up to as high as we want it to. So I could use that and get up really high and maybe trim that bushy bit there back a bit more and tidy it up even more. But we'll see. We'll see when the time comes. The main thing was to get that tree that was leaning down on the shed there chopped up and then the tree that was lying on the ground there also chopped up which they are right here. Now the tree that was going up and standing up against the shed was, was more or less rotten, a waste of time. The tree though that was lying on the ground I did cut uh, one section off, I had a look at it, I thought it might be good for firewood so I then cut a small bit off. 
this section here but um, I said I don't know maybe it's a waste of time trying to get firewood out of that it mightn't be any it mightn't be much good burning material so I said no I'll just chop it up into manageable sized logs throw it into the box and head over to the wood and dump them get rid of them out of sight out of mind so yeah I think before I back the tractor up there, I'll try and manpower this out first, this stump, and see how we get on. I'm still going to have to probably cut it in half or something, uh, just to be able to carry it into the box. But I won't do that until I get it out of the ground, because the more leverage I have, the better. So, yeah, we'll see what's going to happen here. That was easier than I was expecting. It was stink red rotten, as you can see. Stink red rotten. So there's still a bit of obviously the bark on the ground. That's not too bad. There's a stump here. If I can wiggle it out. And even though there's a hole there, I can get a spade or a shovel and try and tidy up that much as possible, try and coax out or break up any of that stuff that's left. And then the hole that's left in it, I can fill up with maintenance or stones or something on the lines of that to fill it up and make it look way neater and nicer. Could compact that down like that. Yeah, I might get a small bit of stone or maintenance and just even that out a small bit and it should be looking a-okay I guess but um, we'll tune up the chainsaw again and uh, I think I think cut that in half even though I could probably be able to carry that in its full length as is because of this shrink red rotten um, I think I'll just uh, I just cut it in half make life that little bit easier and we can throw it then over with the other pile over there back up the 135 and box and load it into it so yeah tune up the chainsaw again and finish this off <laughs> so I have all the loose sort of chippings that came out with from the stump that I dug out from the ground there and any of the bark I've piled over there with the branches but I also saw a couple of stuff over here you may I may not already see it. A couple of stuff there that could be could be chopped up as well and thrown into the box along with the other stuff. So I might tune up the chainsaw once again and just you know just tidy up this little corner here. It's it's not really much it's not doing much productiveness this this area here. But we might as well just uh, tidy this little corner up. Um while we have the chainsaw out, while we are while we are cutting timber with the chainsaw and uh, the, we have the tractor and box as well tuned up. So while we have the full kit out, we might as well just do the section here as well. So yeah, quickly get the chainsaw out again and we'll uh, run through this bit here.
there's two piles. When I was cutting up that big one that was just in the corner there, um, I realised that the timber on it actually isn't all that bad. So it could be used for for firewood. I'll keep them in the in the dem logs for now, but again we'll we'll come along with the chainsaw and cut them up into smaller pieces so they can fit in the in the range. But I wasn't expecting the timber to be that good. So good that it could be used for firewood. So that's the firewood pile. We'll deal with that um, later on. Um, and this is the scrap pile, the dumping pile. And all that stuff there will be joining the other stuff down below to go into the transport box, brought over to the wood and dumped, get rid of them. So yeah, just a lot of um, ivy and twigs that was wrapped around the the actual timber itself. I, I cut off and tied it up as much as possible. They can go as well. So literally all that that you see there is going to be dumped. That small pile there is going to be kept. So um, I think I will bring them over to the other pile over there off camera and then come back and we'll load up the the box and see how much we can get into the box we might try and get it in one load but if we have to do it in two loads it's not the end of the world so we'll see we'll see got the pile that was here along the, the tin there all put into the box but I didn't get all the twigs and sticky out branches and basically this pile here um, into the box and I had a feeling I would have to do two loads um, but I did cram um, 
I did cram the box there with a good pile of stuff there. So um, when I'm going over the road to the wood to empty it, I'm going to have to go nice and easy and steady. Um, so none of that um, falls off onto the road and causes a scene or an accident or something like that. But I did secure them. I did cram branches into cre crevices and holes within uh, the box there so it shouldn't come out. Um, everything there should be fairly secure and tight but I'll still take it nice and easy going over the road. Um, so yeah, we'll go over to the wood, empty that box, come back, fill that stuff into the box, then go empty the box again, and then that probably should do us for today's video. So yeah, we're on the last, we're on the last home stretch now, so we'll go and empty this box. box is emptied and that's that pile of stuff here in the bog as you can see um, so I didn't actually go over the road to the wood over the road um, I'm actually just behind the wood I'm in the wood behind the field that's behind the farmyard if you get me um, the road is very busy because of summer holidays there's a lot of people out and about good weather and um, people have started second cut silage there's a book on the road now doing pit silage so i said just to, just so that i'm not holding up anybody or any traffic because obviously this tractor is only going to do 20k full speed even though i'm only going a short distance some people might be a bit impatient on the road so i said i'll take the easy way out and just go um at the wood behind our farmyard so that's exactly what i done and what else is done is that job, the trees, the dead fallen tree is chopped up and dumped and all the branches that came with it are all dumped as well. So happy, happy days. Anyways, that's the job done and that is going to be the end of today's video. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch, the link to that will be down in the description. And I'll see you in my next video very soon. Take care.